What is up, guys? It's your boy, Strong Skins, back with another video, you know. Um, uh, you know, this might be my new intro because I don't know what the hell I'm going to keep on posting, but I haven't posted in a minute, right? You know, it's just I'm just going to keep on saying that every time I start a new video. So it might be my new intro. But anyway, that's besides the point because I'm making one right now. So, um, a couple days ago, I posted this edit, as you can see here. Your boy Aaron Gordon, uh, if it would open, that'd be nice. Um, it's actually a Beyond the Buzzer type edit, I guess. I don't know. I basically just got extremely bored, and as you can see, I kind of messed up the first time. But then I made a second one, and I made that. I don't know. This is another option I could have went with, but I, I like the darker theme more. But uh, so I, I was like, I was really bored. I was like, man, I, I really want to make an edit, cause you know I was bored. And so I ended up making this, and I think it turned out really well. I love the colors, I love the orange, and I love how I, uh, you know, made the shoes whiter than it was before, and also made the shirt blacker. I don't know, just everything stands out. Also, the skin's really good, and I'm gonna show y'all everything about what I did to this. Also, if you're lazy like I am, and you want to just have the PSD, I could put it in my graphics pack or you could DM me and I'll sell it for two dollars just cause I will I need some money I'm, I'm just saying anyway let's get right into the video alright so I have the uh, high quality image right here I am going to crop it to Instagram size which is a square basically and I'm gonna somewhat put him in the middle cause you wanna make sure he's the object in focus if that makes any sense and we're going to get rid of this basket. I don't, I don't really like the way it's chilling this. So I'm going to get the brush. Or what is this called? The spot heal. Okay. Spot healing tool. And we're going to get rid of it. Now it's gone. Now here's the fun part. Um, we're going to go ahead and skin him. Um, this is a free skin as well. Because you guys get to look at what skin I'm using. And obviously you get to replicate it if you want. If not, use your own skin. Don't really care. But we're going to hit strong. And we're going to click OK. And um, here are some problems. So, Topaz is or has been updated, and I'm still in the old one because I don't want to go to the new one. I've heard many bad things about the new one. It's just not the same anymore, and I don't know. I don't. I don't know why they changed it. I don't know what it looks like. I don't want to know what it looks like. So I'm just gonna be chilling. And I'm gonna have this right here. All right. So. Once you've uh, done the denoise shit, you want to go to adjust and click dynamic pop and click apply. And I think I hit it again. I'm not sure. I'm going to see how it looks. Nah, let's not. All right. Now let's go to, I think it's vivacious. No. No, it's this. It's a light smooth or light pop smooth. I'm going to click OK. All right. Now we wait for that sucker to load. Actually, you know what? Go back. Go back. Cook. Control Alt Z to go back. And we're going to go back into adjust. And we're going to click a dynamic pop. Apply. And then we're going to click that motherfucker again. Oh, wait. There we go. Apply. And now we're going to hit light pop smooth. There we go. That looks way better. Now it looks more saturated and it looks more like beyond the buzzer. So now we're going to go to Dino's again, and we are going to hit, I think, strong. I don't want to, yeah, strong. Hit strong again, and then wait for this to load. And then we're going to go to clean. I don't know why Dino's takes so long. Come on. There we go. And we're going to go to clean. And we're going to hit Curly Smooth, uh, Threshold 0 to 2. Actually, I might want to mess with 3. I like 3. We're going to keep 3. And I think we're done the skin. We're going to actually add a couple more of saturation to it, or a little bit more saturation. We're going to go to Hue and Saturation. And we're going to put Increase Saturation. And click click OK. Now, what I want to do first is 
because I didn't do this first last time. I want to make sure the shirt and everything out of here is black and white. Or black. Cause I don't want to make it white. I want to keep that orange. But I'm make sure it's the right color. I think it's brown in the real photo. But to be honest, brown looks like absolute shit. So I'm not going to keep brown. And I'm going to make it a black jersey. And so this will take a little bit of time. I'm not going to cut any of this video. Well, I might cut a couple of things. But, you know, I'm not going to. You know what? I'm going to actually cut it because it's going to take a long ass time. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have everything I want outlined, I'm going to make this the right color. I'm going to go adjustments, black and white. And as you can see, it looks a lot more better, except for the fact I made this dude white. Not doing that. I'm going to make sure his skin isn't in this. Uh, okay, that looks pretty good now. Let's check it out. Black and white. Um, I don't see anything I missed. Alright, that was pretty good. Um, obviously, you don't have to do this on every photo because maybe your jersey didn't mess up on a skin. I don't know, but you could do whatever you want. I really don't care. Just make sure it looks good because that's what's important. Uh, let's see. First of all, this is god awful. I don't know how I missed this, but we're going to hit that black and white. And click OK, and bam. All right, we're done. Actually, I think I want to do the socks too. Let's check out. Let's check out how the socks would look. I'm not really sure. Let's make sure this isn't in the way. Let's do the Nike logo in too. Uh, and I don't know what these designs are. We're gonna get rid of those. Click black and white. All right, I'm gonna do that too. Oh shit. Okay, gonna do this again. Okay. Now, I'm going to do it on this sock, too. Hopefully, it stays. Okay, it does. All right, well, that one, that sock was way easier. Black and white. Okay, now it's time to mask out our player. Since he's now color corrected, we are going to hit the mask or quick selection tool and mask the player out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, just make sure you get every bit of part of his body or he's going to look absolutely stupid. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have the, the, the majority of this dude masked out, I'm going to hit Control J and that's going to make a new layer of just him. And now here's where we see what we missed or what we don't want, and we're going to get rid of it. So I don't need this dude's hair to be blue right here, so I'm going to quickly get this taken away. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, let's make it a little smaller. You know, a little smaller. All right. That's, that's a little better. Never mind. Make it a little smaller. There we go, that looks more realistic. Okay, anything else? Yes, right here. We're going to do this tool because it's a smaller area and I want to make sure I get every bit of it. Control X. And then, oh, I missed the design. Okay, so as you see, I messed up. What you want to do is you want to hit the background, go back into Quick Mask, highlight what you want, click Control J. Never mind. Control J, hit it right the first time. Click merge down. Or right click on this, hit merge down, and then restart. So we're going to get rid of this. As you can see, I have the, the sock design in this one now because I had to redo it, which is okay. You don't have to be perfect though, but. You, you want to get the little details. Now, this one, I'm going to just do this. I love the lasso tool. You know, when I do designs, I use that to mask out the players because I want to make sure it's perfect. Um, but when edits like this that are crazy backgrounds, you can't really tell where you mess up on your masking, so I really don't really care. Um, let's see. Let's see anything else. Yep, right here. 
Something you probably won't see, but I will. It's going to piss me off, so I'm going to do it. And I think that's it. Okay. Now, here's where we have some fun. Now, here's where we make the background. So, first, you want to hit New Layer. You want to make it black. I don't know why I have those colors there. That's kind of weird. I'm going to reset that. All right. Now, it's black. And then now, I can't really give away these. All right. First of all. My dude's finger is gone, so I'm going to have to fix that. I'm doing that right now. So do what I did the first time I messed up. Click Control J. Put that on top. Click Merge Down, and there it is. So anything else? Okay, we're good. So I can't really give away these brushes because they're not mine. I stole them, I guess you could say. I really don't know. I just found a link to them. I'm sure you could do some Googling and you'll find a link as well. But um, use the best brush you can that looks like this or looks like the brushes I use because you want to make sure this, that it looks cool. So now here's where you design the background. I'm going to try and do the same one I did last edit, which is this one. This one, I, I love that edit. I really do. I think it was that. It was not that. Okay. Let's see. It was like a suck. What is this? Ooh. Okay. That looks fire. All right. Not going to cap. Now let's do that in orange. Let's make this color orange. Um, to get the right orange, do what I just did. Can't really explain it. You just had to watch. And we're going to put the same thing over this. And then we're going to hit overlay. And we're going to click control J. That's too much. Alright. This is this one might actually turn out better than the first one I did. Cause holy shit, this looks really cool. Uh, how does that... That looks terrible. Let's make it white. Okay, that's not bad. That, that's actually pretty bad. Okay. Um, let's see. So pretty much what you want to do is just play around. That's it. And that's what's so fun about this. Because, you know, you can't really mess up. You can always go back and redo it. But... That's the whole fun, the, uh, fun in this. Okay, that is a terrible brush. Um, that's the whole fun in this. It's just, you know, mess around and play around and see what you like and stuff. And that's pretty much what all this is. Let's see if I like this. I probably, and I don't. Okay. There's so many brushes to choose from. Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. So we're going to make it like that. Ah, shit, that was too much. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to overlay it. Control J. That was pretty good. Okay, now I want something... Oh, this isn't bad. I want something like... Like, something like this. Something sharpish. I can't really explain. Is that too much? That looks really cool, actually. Um, Let's see, I'm still looking for something. Ooh. The honeycomb shit. That's pretty cool. Hit overlay. Oh, yo, that's dope. What is this one? Eh, that's not bad, but I don't want that. I don't need that one. This one's not bad either. Um, did I use this one? I, I can't tell. Uh, I don't need to use that one. I'm still looking for this one brush. It's something like that. Okay, that I don't need. What is this? Okay, that's another... Okay, here we go. This one. I like this. I don't know why, but I like the way this looks. But I, I, I gotta do a better job of situating them, because they, they look pretty bad. That's not bad at all, actually. Let's hit Overlay. Control-J. Control-J again, or is that too much? How's this, lo how's this looking? I think this is looking really cool. Matter of fact, it looks even better than the, this one. I mean, it's not nearly as dark, but... It's still kind of cool. All right, let's do one more brush. Because I don't want to do too much. You never want to do too much. I might want to do just one big-ass brush. Let's see. Um, What is that? Ooh, that's kind of cool. I don't know why I would use that, though. I don't know where I'd put that on this photo. 
Actually, I don't... Can I get rid of these brushes? I don't think I can. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just... I'm going to be safe and not do it. I was going to have to find it on his own. Which can't be that hard. That looks pretty cool. Alright. I got to say, I think I'm done with this. This looks really freaking good. Way better than what I did. Alright, so now we're done the background. The background's done. Completed. You know, this is way better looking than this. I, I think I'm going to start doing Beyond the Buzzers stuff more because I can. Before, I really couldn't. It didn't really look, look that good. So, we're going to actually add a couple more little details and things like that. We're going to hit Control J, duplicate our um, player. We're going to hit Blur, Motion Blur, and add a little blur to him just to make it look like he's moving in a way. And we're going to hit Screen on that. Now, if you want, you could duplicate that and make it better. Um, I think I'm going to add a vignette. I think that's how you say it. I never knew how to say the word. Um, let's see. Let's do that, that. Get the soft brush. Make that shit all the way up. Let's bring it right about there. Hit delete. Let's bring it, let's bring it down all the way. That didn't change shit. There you go. That's really cool. Now I think now I can I think I can like uh duplicate some of the stuff I couldn't duplicate before like that. Yeah. What else? I there was another thing I could duplicate. Oh, the smoke. This. Oh, I have to have that. All right, what about There we go. Now it's more orangey. I think that's better. More orange, the better, you know. But I think that's 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 perfect right there. All right, I'm gonna actually add a little bit of more contrast because I want it to be a little darker. So like right there. Okay. I like that a lot. Now it doesn't look anywhere near this, but I really like the way this turned out. Now here's where this is optional. You don't have to do this, but I decided to do it because I wanted to try it. And here's where you apply a text. Um, let's see how this turns out. So we're going to go here. We're going to type in uh, all caps. Aaron. And we're going to make it big so we can see what the hell we're typing. Like that. We're going to put it sideways a little bit. I think I'm going to put it right here. No, i got to put it up here somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to put it right here, actually. Um, put it up more a little bit. Right there. Okay. Now we're going to hit FX. Um, outer Glow, I think. All right. First of all, you want to put the fill all the way down. Then you want to go to Outer Glow. And you want to make sure it's all the way up. And you want to put it to orange. In this case, orange, because it's um, the color of the, the background and shit. Um, I don't really know what you should put it on, but I have it on screen. But obviously, you can play around with it. Don't really care what you do. Um, I'm going to leave it on screen. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to change the font because this font's not really that good. Um, I really don't know why this font is called. I'll tell you all my secrets. But that is the font name for this. So if you guys want it, go download it. And that's what it's called. So we're going to make it bigger so you can actually see it more. I actually might make it smaller and put it right here. Actually, I don't... You know what? What if I put it inside of this? How would that look? Terrible. I'm not doing that. Um, let's see. Put it, like, right there. I, I Honestly, I don't think we should put a name for this one. It doesn't look that good. Oh... What if I do it sideways? You know what? I'm going to do it sideways. Never mind. You know what? I am. I'm going to make it smaller. Right about there. Duplicate it. Bring it all the way over here. Click on it. Type in Gordon. And there you go. I believe we are done. Um, The last 
and most important part is your watermark. Make sure you have a watermark. If not, you will be screwed and you will punch yourself in the face if somehow he sees it or reposts it. And if he does that and your name's not on it, then you will go die because that's what I almost did when Odell posted my shit. So, yeah. That's uh, the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I know it's been a while, but I'm going to try and keep posting more. Um, if you guys want this PSD, I will give it to you. You just got to pay money, obviously. It'll be like a dollar or two dollars. Just DM me, uh, PayPal only. And uh, yeah, please subscribe if you are new. Please follow my Instagram, Strong Strong Graphics, and peace out.